Welcome to your favorite news network, the Dusty News Network. You know where Negro news comes first, and I'm so excited to be your host today. Breaking news! I know NBA players and NFL players make a lot of money, and most of them are in really good shape, tall, and a lot of women appreciate what they look like. But stop the show. They still going to need to clap some cheeks. And because they have money, they're going to need to pay. And most of them will pay because it's just easier like that. You know, you ain't got to worry about so many lawsuits. The only problem is if you clap some cheeks and you're about to pay and you run out on the cheeks that you're supposed to pay for and it gets caught on camera. And this happened to this NFL player. All right, guys. So the chick who made this post. I was able to find it on Instagram at Mika Sylvia, M-I-C-A-S-Y-L-V-I-A-A. And when you look through the pictures, I mean, you know, hey, she's looking like a city girl, um, you know, very provocative dresser, tattoos, you know, she, she's party girl. And uh, yeah, when you dress and act like this, you do attract the wrong kind of dude sometimes. OK. So she looks good though. I will, you know, I, I would definitely simp and trick on her. Let's get look at the comments of what the ladies are saying about her baby daddy. What's his IG sis? Oh yeah. Look at this person here. Hell, she is fine as F. I think he probably meant that he is fine as F, right? So look at this comment right here. She helping him get more biatches. These H O S's love their beats. Can I get a ooh sound effect? She just made him more popping. He's about to get more 304s. Now, let's look at this comment. Thank you, music! Lots of women are so desperate, shaking my head. I could never entertain a man, or I can never entertain a man, I think she meant to say man, who doesn't take care of his kids. Baby, if he don't even love the kids he brought into this world, he not gonna love you either. Most of y'all just be miserable and desperate and okay with the bare minimum sad. Okay, this person goes, girl, half the men in the world ain't good daddies. Just do your part as a mom. It's hard, but life goes on. You ain't the first single mom and you surely ain't won't be the last. You don't even know how to read or write or spell that good. But like I said, ladies got to really be concerned about what image you're putting out there on Instagram and how you carry yourself because how you carry yourself is who you attract. You can't go out here carrying yourself any kind of way, male or female. And then when you attract what you're looking for, get mad at somebody. You need to start being mature. So man, bro, that's just dusty, bro. Like the girl is talking about how open your, you know, you've been, she's been playing with your, you know what, your, your exit hole and all that stuff, brother. And uh, how loose it is and everything. I, I mean, I ain't trying to get all in your business. It seemed like she was all up in your business. But man, they seen you running out of the hotel. and You clapped them up, you know, and then you didn't want to pay and you ran out. And so she got the camera with you running out. Come on, dog. Like, man, y'all got to just, you know, when you're clapping cheeks, get these. This is not me saying this, even though it is me saying this. Um, if you're going to pay for something, if it's legal in your state, you should pay for it without having problems. It's just easier to do it instead of trying to just clap for free. Cause now she's saying what? That it's great. All you had to do is just pay and then you would be cool. Now I'm talking about you. The whole blog's talking about you. You're going to get roasted when you go back to, you know, the camp, man. That's just dusty. It's not the show, man. Leave these chicks alone, man. First of all, so you guys mess with these OnlyFans girls, man. You, you know how they look. You know, we don't have to get into all that. They're going to always tell. They're trying to get clout to get more customers. And you give it to them. Stop clapping their cheeks and not paying, bro. If you agree to pay, as long as it's legal, hmm, in your state or country. Because I don't want to say that it's always legal, but you should always... Do the right thing, even when you're doing the wrong thing. Next story. Sometimes we got beef with people, man, and we got to try to settle that beef. But, you know, I think it's better to do it behind closed doors. 
but stop the show. <laughs> nah, Negroes can't do that, man. They got to make sure they put everything on camera. And this is what happened somewhere, I believe it was in Houston, Texas, or somewhere in the state. There's this sister that got the beef with another lady. So she's going to go to the lady's house. And she's going to knock on the door. And this is going to happen. Uh-oh. It's going down. Toxic versus Holyfield. This little thing right here is so cute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm recording this, my boy. I gotta see this. You fighting too, little child? I don't know, maybe. Okay. <laughs> you record too, huh? No, I'm finished. Baby, come outside. I ain't gonna disrespect these people. Come outside. This is fake Come in, the dog lock, baby. You said come in, but you went down. Hit the door, whoever hit the glass door, fuck who that was, baby. Hit the door. Oh, in there. In there. In there. She went in there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, man. So, first of all, the lady just laying down on the air mattress, not even trying to get up and fend for herself or nothing. Of course, she's going to whoop your ass, which is exactly what happened. We can't show that part. Now, go back to the dudes if we can, man, and, and, and that's walking into the house with the phones. Do y'all know that all of y'all going to jail, too, because that's breaking and entering? Do y'all like that's how dumb people are. You're going to film yourself walking up, kicking in the door, then beating the girl. That's breaking, entering, assault with a deadly weapon, which is your fist, over what? To prove you was what? Hard? Them people not going to be there when the judge give your ass that sentence and give you that felony on your record. Because I don't care what the lady did to you. You ain't supposed to go kick her door in. All right? Like, where do y'all live at? And then, I'm going to tell you, the people that's there don't even care about you. I'm going to tell you why. If they cared about you, boo, they'd be like, wait a minute, you're going to do what? Explain that to me. You're going to go to somebody's house and then kick the door in? Oh, no, that's hella stupid, boo. Don't do that. They're going to lock your ass up for real. No, I don't do that. Please don't do that. I love you. If somebody don't love you, they'll let you make a fool out of yourself. And so many people is hanging around folks who don't love you, don't care about you. And they making you look silly out there. So, watch your back. Next story! Friends are a great thing to have because they're going to be there right by your side. At least you think. Sometimes your friends ain't your friends. Like we found out in the last clip with a girl that had all her friends breaking and entering that goddamn house in Texas. The lady had a best friend. And the lady that's on the video is going to explain what her best friend did for her in a nice way. Story time on how me and my best friend was pregnant by the exact same man at the exact same time. And I never knew until she had a secret baby shower. So 
I was dating this dude for like three years. Like we were together for like three years and me and my best friend have been best friends for way before that, like 10 plus years, right? So <clears throat> um, we end up getting pregnant at the exact same time and she ends up coming up with this story. Like she had a one night stand. She don't know who her baby daddy is, all these other things. And like, you know, once I asked her, like, are you going to keep it? Because I'm never going to push anybody to go to the clinic and send their baby back to God. But I always ask because where is your mindset? So I asked her, like, are you keeping the baby? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, like, you know, like, you know, you're going to be, you know what, you know what you can handle, right? So whatever, we both go through our pregnancy. We were so excited. We found out at the same time. And it's getting closer to like our like, six month and it's time to start planning our baby shower i have no fucking clue all the way up until this point that me and her like I, I don't question it right so because like why would you be a weird so at the six month mark when we start planning our baby shower she's like i'm just not gonna have no baby shower i've just been going through it mentally emotionally so the whole time i'm thinking that she's down and out because she's having a baby by this man who, by somebody she don't know right just she's gonna be a single mom she set herself up for this like she don't know who the baby daddy is nothing so i'm thinking that's why she going through a whole time going through it because we got the same baby daddy our mutual friends was like oh are you going to the baby shower she told me she wasn't having a baby shower that's how i'm come i pop up at the baby shower guess who at the baby shower cheesing oh y'all want me to knock all this shit over now boom let me tell y'all how i got to the baby shower so once i find out that She's having a baby shower. I check her location because Goof Troop didn't turn off her location, right? So I'm like, oh, bitch, yeah, the baby shower at her granny house. So I pull up to her granny house. I'm thinking nothing of it. Just like, why are you being a weirdo, right? So when I pull up, I see my baby daddy's car because I know his license plate in the front yard. So I already just stopped, peeped the scene. So I'm like, all right, hold on. Before I even walk into this moment, let me go around the corner and I end up calling my cousins because we ride at dawn. So I'll call my cousins. They already on the way. They like 20 minutes out. I'll call my brother and tell my brother, you pull up too because I already know me. And if this is baby shower, I don't even know what he will be doing here. I already know I'm going to put my hands on somebody and I shouldn't be putting my hands on nobody at six months. So we need reinforcements. I already don't get along with his mama. I don't get along with his sister. I do not fuck with his family, right? Because they weird. I see his sister walking up. Oh, this is a family full of goofies. So I'm checking everybody's location and I see that they five minutes out. So I'm like, bet, let me walk up in here because I don't want nobody to know that I'm walking in on no BS. Like, they didn't need to know I was on bullshit, but I was on absolute bullshit. Immediately on bullshit once I seen that man car. Like, they don't even need to know what's up. So every, I walk in through the back gate and as soon as I walk in, I make eye contact with her and she just get everybody look like they seen the ghost i look my baby daddy dead in the face he get up and sprint out the side gate oh we're gonna stand on business today i i, I can bet you that hide speed chase chase him till he ran out of gas i'm like what's up what my baby daddy doing here and she like oh i'm so sorry he told me he was gonna tell you something i'm it's not making sense and you need to make it make sense right the now so she's like, he told me that he was going to tell you that we were having a baby. So the first thing I do is swing and hit her in her mouth. So as I'm swinging, because I'm not stopping, she's like, no. So now everybody's trying to get me up off of her. And so now my cousin's running. They just see that people got me by my arms. Oh, melee. Everybody knew but me. Y'all want it? Y'all baby shower theme should have been a circus because it was a bunch of melee instant instant mayhem instant chaos so by the time whoever had my arms which was i think his sister and his cousin my cousins already came over and then knocked the mario coins out they head because let her go right so then she ended up running in the house and locking the door so i couldn't even get to her no more don't worry about it though so now i'm outside and my cousins one of my cousins got her mama in the headlock because she was over there yapping yapping her mouth shut up his mama trying to come up like destiny destiny i suggest you get out of my face because why are you here 
And where's your son at? Because I'm going to knock his head off his shoulders like the Volturi did Carlisle. At this point, I don't know where my baby daddy then ran to. And I'm so confused because did you think he was going to save you? I'm about to beat both y'all ass. My family comes from a long line of crash outs. Like, we've never been a So as we all leaving, I give my cousin my car keys and I hop in the car with my other cousin because I parked up the street and I cannot run. So they have pulled right up into the front of the house. So I hop in the car with my cousin. So I'm calling my brother because he never came in. I'm like, I'm like, where y'all, where y'all? He's like, we seen that running out. And he hopped in the car. So we chased, we, we chasing him down right now. Y'all, they on the freeway following him he trying to get away so i'm like y'all just dead it just just let it go he got to come home we, <laughs> family meeting at my house so now at this point i'm already knowing people about to try to start acting like i'm the problem like oh destiny was tripping oh she was tripping she came in here and did all this did all this so now i'm at home trying to trying to process because i still have not processed everything so me and my cousins all go to my house and have a family meeting because I hope y'all beat everybody the fuck that I couldn't get to. And I need to know who was there because I didn't pay attention to what homegirls was there who was just at my baby shower yesterday bringing a gift. She was just at my baby shower yesterday with a gift. That's right. Your best friend slept with your baby daddy and got pregnant after lying to you and saying that, you know what? She didn't know who the dude was. Yeah, she knew exactly who the dude was. Then your baby daddy's stupid enough to go over there and have a baby shower as if somebody wasn't going to tell you that he got a kid by her. How stupid is that? Now, let me say, you know, you going to swing on her and admit that that's cool. But damn, boo. Like, what did you really expect? Like, a lot of people got to understand, man. People is shady out there. And I know she was hurt. I know you hurt. And I know the females was like, listen, you know, don't let the kids see the dad no more and it's over. But man, y'all got to really pick better. Like, for real, make sure you are who you need to be so that you don't attract that kind of trash. And that's something I had to learn. You got to have higher standards for yourself. You got to up your own game and your own standards to get better people. And when you don't, you pay for it. So guys, we got a pretty good show. We got the NFL player who ran out on the cheeks. You got the girl that videotaped her breaking and entering into a house. Then you have the lady whose best friend stole her baby daddy and they both was pregnant by the same guy at the same time. So now the baby is brothers and sisters, right? That's crazy, right? Woo! Jeopardy music! This is going to be hard, right? But I got to say, drum roll, please. It's the girl, man. I'm going to tell you. The second girl. Look, the dude running out of the room, allegedly without paying, we don't really know if that's the case. Because, you know, he could have found out that she had something else. Um, and just, you know, like I said, you know, it ran out. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know, he could have thought that she was one way and found out that she had what he had it was like oh no and so he belt out right because she, she could say anything but we don't know what happened it could you know somebody could have started bleeding farting in the bed you know anything could happen during sex but this is something that we've seen from the beginning she walked up there all them dudes walked up there with the goddamn phone broke into the woman's house and again, um, you can go to this Instagram page. We'll show the, the, the Instagram page. You can go and check out the whole video there, right? Um, that's Dusty. Now your ass going to jail. You can't argue against the judge. You're going to have to apologize. And all them people that was there going to laugh at your ass. Or you're getting a felony. Because you're going to get one. And I know you ain't got no money for a lawyer. Because you're silly as hell. Throw that dust on her. It's over for her. So guys, that's my time, man. Your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back here with the Dusty News Network, man. I'm just so glad to be here. So glad to see you. Make sure you guys follow me, facebook.com backslash O'Shea Jackson too. You know, we're going to make sure everything comes together for you guys. And we out. Peace. Peace.